Hey guys, welcome back. So now that you know how to complete the square, um, you can see how like powerful completing the square is because you can kind of force an answer out, even if it's not a very clean answer. So like in this sort of question that we did in the previous video, um, like there was no clean factors that would allow us to factorize this equation. And so we completed the square and we got an ugly answer, but nevertheless, it's still the correct one. And so the thought goes, well, if we can do it for this really ugly quadratic, why can't we just do it for any quadratic that exists? Basically, what about this quadratic? AX squared plus BX plus C equals to zero. Right? Now, depending on what A, B, and C are, you can, this, this general equation will capture um, pretty much every quadratic equation that you'll find, right? Um, and let's just use the idea of completing this square to try and solve this equation, okay? Now, although A, B, and C, we don't know what these numbers are, um, let's just leave them as uh, A, B, and C. Okay, now let's just see what happens. Okay, again, the question is just solve, right? So at the end, I just want to know, like, x equals to what? Okay, so let's try to complete this square for this generic quadratic equation. Now, the very first thing I hope you can recognize before you complete the square is that there's a coefficient in front of the x squared. So in the last video, I just went through the fact that if you have a coefficient in front, in front of your x squared and it's not 1, um, you have to reduce it down to 1 first and then go by your normal way of completing the square. Okay, so since we don't know what a is, it could be anything, let's divide everything by a. Divide a, divide a, divide a, divide a. So we get x squared plus b on ax plus c on a is equal to 0. Um, and let's write this again and move c a to the right hand side. Okay, so we're going to complete the square. Everything's set up now. There's a coefficient of 1 here, so we can just go ahead and uh, complete the square. So how did we actually complete the square previously? So if we had x squared plus 6x, we looked at this coefficient here, right? And we said, okay, half of 6 is 3, and we're going to square that on. Okay, so we're going to do that same logic. Now, half of... Half of this coefficient, half of that is b on 2a, okay? So basically half of anything is just half times something, right? That's half of, of a number. And so half of b on a, which just gives b on 2a, okay? And we're going to square that on, okay? Which means we should write it on the right-hand side as well. Okay, now on the left-hand side, the reason why we added that is to complete the square, right? So we can now complete the square like this. Okay, the same way over here we would say x plus 3 squared. Okay, and on the right-hand side, let's try to clean this up. Okay, I'm going to say b squared on 4a squared minus c on a. And let's make a common denominator on the right-hand side. b squared minus 4ac. Um, I'll take a step slower. Let's multiply 4a on top and bottom. Which gives us common denominator of 4a squared. And now we get to this. Okay, so again, what was our goal again? We're just trying to find this x. Okay, and there's this big square in the way. So let's square root both sides. Plus minus, don't forget that. Big square root. Like this. Now... We can separate the square roots of 
like that. Square root of top and bottom is the same thing as the square root of the whole fraction, which is nice because the bottom is just 2a. Okay, again, let's just write this part again, x plus b on 2a. x equals to, if you subtract this to both sides, we should end up with this answer. And hopefully this is very familiar. It's the quadratic formula, right? So we know now with the quadratic formula, if you can't factorize, just chuck it in the quadratic formula. Okay, you will get, you'll force out the answer. It's really, uh, it's really like worth noting, I think, um, to appreciate that it came out of a pretty simple idea. Like this idea of completing the square gave us a formula. Um, and I think once you go through that experience, you have more, you have a more sense of appreciation for, I guess, formulas in general, because they're not just something that is handed to you. It's actually something that, um, uh, people discovered. So yeah, that's just a nice thing. Um, completing the square to find the quadratic formula. Cool. Thanks for watching.